fancy new wheel over here. Came with another adapter, but this one fits but won't work because see how it's a little bit taller. Yeah, it doesn't click on because of where the other one's welded. So we'll get these switched over, get the new wheel in, and see if I can sit in that. Out. Ain't that a sweet wheel? No, literally. It's a sweet wheel. Huh. Awesome. Wow. So, okay, obviously new wheel. Way smaller. This wheel, obviously steel, weighs double of what this thing weighed. It's kind of cool. Find it a new home. Right there until it finds a new we gotta home. Gotta drill our holes out here. Uh, bolts don't fit. That one's for the horn that we won't have. So we'll get these drilled out and get this adapter put on there and bada bing bada boom we'll have something. Well that was a fail. There we go. Maybe we'll try setting it up this time instead of uh, one-handed drilling. It's fit now. Yay! Now what I'm going to do is see if I got a little bit bigger drill bit in here so I can kind of bevel the edges there. Make it all fancy-like. You sitting all cockeyed, don't I? Let me just go. Do the same thing over here. That's like I'm almost professional. Don't get carried away. need one more washer since we launched the rest of them in our little excursion there when I wanted to be cool and use one hand but come over here with me good thing ta-da we'll use that one uh, tighten her up real nice all right we got the wheel all set up let's go take it out there and uh see how it fits and we'll take the seat in a minute and see if i don't fit in this bracket here is for the old seat I believe it had like a kirky or something in here is it mounted here mounted up against the wall here so that bracket is keeping my seat from going fully against the floor so we're gonna cut that bracket off right now and we're gonna cut that uh, old harness out because we've got a new one and uh, Carry on. See you in a minute. What else I got from the wonderful world? It's like my personal playground, Harbor Freight. Uh, hell, I don't remember. This was like the higher end of the low end, I guess. Um, but it had the paddle, which I wanted. I didn't want. The other one they have has just got like a side on off switch. Oh, look at that. It even comes with brushes. That's a win. So... We've got this bad lad here. See what we got here. Oh, I'm doing this like a retard. Comes with a spanner. Comes with that. I'm guessing comes with one, uh, what is this, a grinding disc. 
shining disc. We've also got some cutoff wheels that I bought. We're gonna throw one of these cutoff wheels on here and go get that bracket cut off of there. We're back. Like I said before, anytime you're using one of these death wheels, make sure you look stylish and got some safety glasses on. So I'm gonna get you guys set up here, see if we can't watch me uh, cut this shit up. took way too long but now that's out I still barely fit. Huh. I'm not sure what to do here. Well, it's like 10.30 at night and the garage is an absolute mess, but uh, besides the fuel pump and valve covers, it, it, which can go on later, this thing's actually ready to go in the car now. Like it's, it's really put together. I'm even priming it for oil pressure. Got the motor mounts on it, got an oil filter on it. I should have showed you guys a quick little video of me making this contraption here. This is an old TBI style distributor out of a 90 Camaro that I had. So I got the bench grinder over there, ground all the teeth off of it, ground that down to fit into my 3 8 drill. Now, pops right down in there. Hook the drill on it, spin it up. As you can see, there's oil in the line, oil on some of the rockers. I only had like a, literally a quart of oil. So, but it's got oil pressure, so that's a good thing. Pans on it, timing covers on it. Just got to paint the water pump, paint the balancer, paint the stupid fuel pump. Because I just can't put it on dirty. Need longer bolts for the valve covers that I want to run. And uh, it's ready to go in the car. So another res revelation. We've got stupid dogs out there and we got bullfrogs. I think I'm going to have to run this car with no seat. Because no matter what I do, I don't fit in the car with the seat that I have. I need to be back about six inches and I need to be lower about six inches. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I can make the belts all work. So I'll be tight. I mean, it's got a metal, you know, backrest and floor. So it's a seat, I guess. I don't know. That's what I have to work with. So I don't think even putting a kirky in there would give me much more room. I mean, but then at that point, I'm sitting on the floor and sitting on the backrest. All that's between me and the steel is a little piece of aluminum, so I might as well just not have a seat. 
So I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but I'm ready to get the motor in, which I'm really excited about. And other news, I know this isn't for this video, but this is that ratchet. I use this thing all day. I've put this motor together with it, and battery still, it, it's starting to go a little to the yellow, not full green. Fuck, thing rocks, 65 bucks, Amazon. I'm trying it just to see how it works. A lot of people gave it a good review on Amazon, so, you know, if it doesn't work, what am I out, 65 bucks? Better than the $250 piece of crap that I have that's already broke. Or better yet, the $300 piece of crap that's broke. And they won't sell. Uh, let's see if it'll focus here. They won't sell me that anvil. That's all this thing needs. So, yeah. That's a piece of crap. So that has to be better than that. So anyways, guys, that's about all I'm going to do for the day. We'll go inside, wash up, and uh, go to bed, I guess. See you guys tomorrow.